with Joey's second baby mama dealing with the police, I'm sure his wife is fuming every second that he doesn't return her phone call. He makes things so messy sometimes. You still weren't able to get in touch with him? I spoke to him once and he didn't want to come and get the baby. So I'm assuming he's with Melissa and if I'm assuming that, his wife is probably assuming that too. Mill, I, I know they tell us to consider new followers and people who've never seen the show before, but can't you just call her Miranda? You keep saying his wife. I'm a little pissed at her because I told her to come get the baby and I know she's uncomfortable getting his second baby mama's baby, but like he said, it's an extreme circumstance. And I don't understand why she has to be so selfish. I can't understand how you and Joey can't see it from her perspective, for the most part. Now, I wouldn't want to be around that baby either. She married Joey without any of this, and now she could be a stepmom. Why can't she think of the baby? Why does she have to always tie it back to his ex-girlfriend and be petty like that? It's just so immature. Look, I was trying to ignore the elephant in the room here, but cut the crap, Mel. What are you talking about? I live in your house. I saw what was in the garbage. The box for the rapid DNA test. So you're going through the garbage now? What are you, a raccoon? You tested the baby. You know whether or not Joey's the father. What, what's the answer here? You know, if Melissa's credit card fraud charge is serious and Joey's trying to help her. Come on, Mel, don't change the subject. I'm dying to know. I want to know what the answer here is. Every paternity test that comes back is flubbed and has a problem. You have the answer right here. Is the baby his or not? Jimmy, I don't mean to be disrespectful, but you are the basement baby. You live in my basement. You work part-time, you don't have a wife, you don't have children, and you watch sports all day. You have really nothing to do with this situation, therefore I don't owe you an explanation about what's in the garbage. Oh, you're killing me. You know, you know how bad this kills me when I don't even care about your insult right now. What's up your sleeve, Mill? What do you got planned? What, what's the answer here? You know, I always just wanted to be a grandmother. As weird as that sounds, I almost wanted that more than being a mother itself. Because when you're a mother, they just blame you for everything. I have a daughter that I don't speak to. I have a son who can't keep it in its pants. And I have a legal daughter-in-law who I can't stand, who can't stand me. That was not what I imagined. All right, I get it. The cards didn't turn out the way you wanted them to turn out. You, you kind of lost the poker game. But I'm here at the table with you. Can't you just tell me whether or not we have a new addition to the family? If that baby in the other room right now is blood or not? Why should I tell you anything, Jimmy? You're my deadbeat brother. You couldn't even make me an aunt. At least I would have had something to fall back on. I'm never even going to get to be a godmother. I did make you an aunt.